Now, my guest for today is an influencer, fitness professional, upcoming professional in my book, honestly, even though that's not really a thing, but I tell, call, I call him that in my head, even though I don't tell him that. He's also a YouTuber. Please welcome my man, Nigel Fitness. What's up? What's up, everybody? Nigel Fitness is in the building. Nice to be on your show with you. Nice to be here today. Thank you so much. How you been, man? Hey, I've been doing pretty good. How That's what's up. Been? I'm all right. You know, taking it one day at a time, as always. You feel me? The same way I act on camera is the same way I act off camera still. It's just the, you know, work type of vibe and grind. And I see you on the grind also at the gym. How you building up, man? You really actually consistent in your workouts. Yeah, I know. It's all about consistency, man. And anything that you do, if you're doing YouTube, you want to you wanna further your business or something, you got to make sure that you have consistency. If you have consistency, you can accomplish anything you want in life. Right. And I believe that for real because a lot of the stuff that, you know, I've really been consistent on, not for popularity, not because it's trendy, but because it's really what I want to do. And I think that's for a lot of people. I can speak for a lot of people. They're like that. However, uh, it's nice to see you in the studio. So tell me, how has your, uh, you, you've been doing YouTube for how long now? Uh, I've been doing YouTube, I say like eight, nine months. Right. Like that. But you actually have been in other people's videos even before that. So like, when did you really start like, participating in other youtube videos uh i i you talking about participating in other people's youtube videos or when did i start my own when did you like participate in other people's uh i all started with my brother bless that was sauce he, he was putting out some videos i helped him out a couple of times i joined in on some videos i thought that doing youtube was cool so i wanted to take a swing at it i got my first couple of videos the thing about it is i know what i do will definitely notice the more videos you put out, the easier it gets to put out like quality content. You won't feel uncomfortable with like talking to a camera or anything. After a while, it just becomes like real smooth. So it, it's the same thing that goes back to consistency. If you have consistency and you're, you're focused on this thing, you do it in repetition and repetition, you're bound to get better. There's no question about it. So that's with anything that you want. You just gotta stay consistent. And that's exactly what I did. And after a while, I got comfortable doing the whole YouTube thing. Yeah, for sure. And I really love that, man. I'm glad you ju jumped on the grind. And nothing should ever be forced on somebody. I always say, if you want to do it, then you go after it. You know, only you can say what you want to do and tell yourself what you want to do. You feel me? So I'm glad you jumped on this YouTube grind and you loved it. And I'm glad that you're actually encouraging yourself and other people to just get out, whether it's outside or whether it's in your local gym or wherever, just to, you know, get fit. I just saw uh, my man Taylor Holder. He's in uh, Cal Cali, California. He was jogging yesterday and he was like, on Instagram saying, you guys get out, literally stop being lazy, stop. I can't say what I want to say because I'm going to get demonetized, but <laughs> yeah, don't get demonetized. <laughs> don't, don't do it. All right. It ain't so, worth it. Right. So <laughs> he, he was just saying like, just get out, you know, get fit. You know, there's no time to waste, get fit and, you know, do what you got to do. Just, you know, sure, let, sure. Let, let's get that working. But how, long have you also been uh let's see i know you're a big you used to be a big gamer and i remember your cousin not your cousin your brother your brother was on the show last year and we were talking about how i used to break a lot of ds's oh man yeah <laughs> and how uh, uh just the whole thing about like consoles had switched up with nintendo and what we're gonna do about nintendo and i was pondering about that and i was like are you still a big nintendo fan or are you just switched to playstation and I, I don't know about nintendo i feel like nintendo they always have those like really good classic games you know mario you can't get away from it mario kart super smash bros all those good games but my biggest problem with the with the Nintendo systems is that they're not really doing any innovating. So like they've been coming out with the same Mario Kart for like the past six, seven years or something like that. They right. need, if they if they came out with some fresh content, some new things for people to actually do, 
that I think that's one of the reasons why the Wii was so successful because nobody started doing the handheld running and stuff and doing boxing in your living room and everything. And then it just became like a worldwide party game. But they just need they need a fresh idea because their ideas are running out. They're <laughs> recycling the same games. It's pretty bad. Right. So, and, and you know, PlayStation, PlayStation was always like kind of like a one player game. But when I think, think of Nintendo, I think of like families getting together and playing a certain game and just having fun. It's anybody can join in, the kids can join in, the grown ups can join in, all that stuff. They just need to get back to their roots. And I feel like once they get back to their roots, I feel like Nintendo will be just fine. Yeah. Family oriented games and consoles are very important especially in this day and age and that's where i f- believe you you know these companies make a lot of money also my mom has said the same thing also it's just like movies if you make family oriented movies family you know pushed you know type of content you know you'll get a lot of people i mean just think of the song and i know some people have their opinions to say about the song but like that song pharrell williams happy like everybody was streaming that and that guy pharrell is still making money like big time money and there's literally like too many people he uh he has to go through and be like okay let me you know let them use my song for commercials that's how big it is and i feel like you know nintendo can go back up in their like ratings with you know games and specifically the classics like mario kart and smash bros yeah for sure for mario sure. galaxy i don't know i know everybody remembers back when the Wii first came out they had commercials everywhere they had the funny ones they had they had all types of stuff y'all y'all remember the Wii would like to play and everything right everybody was playing Wii play trying to challenge people and bowling and everything People were breaking TVs with a remote. Everybody was just having a good time. <laughs> yes. right. Some of y'all might have had to buy a new TV, but at the end of the day, we all had a good time. Right, right. And that's the lovely thing about, you know, Nintendo and the gaming industry. 